Hello and welcome to class today. My name is Rachel. I'm a girl with a Pilates mat and today we're going to be doing standing Pilates to improve your confidence and build your strength. This is osteoporosis friendly so I've made sure there's going to be no flexion, no twisting in this uh, so it's suitable for everyone and if you're not a senior it's good for you too because we're going to work a lot on our balance and coordination. Anyway let's get started. So we're going to do 30 minutes. Let's start by standing on our mat. All right, and I want you to bring your feet right underneath your hip bones. All right, I want you to actively pull your tummy muscles in and just rest your arms down by your side. So imagine you've got a little thread coming out the top of your head and it's gently drawing you up. All right, so you get this sense of elongation of your spine. As soon as you do that, you're starting to work your postural muscles and that's what we want. Okay, so hands down, I want you to pick up all 10 toes, spread them out, and then gently, like I'm doing with my hands, place your toes back on your mat. And then we're gonna lift them up. Spread them out as much as you can, and lay them down on your mat. One more, lift them up. Spread them out, and gently, Lay them down. Now I want you to rock your body forward until you feel the weight go into your toes. You're feeling your toes start to grip. Now draw yourself back. Now gently take the weight back into your heels. Don't go too far. And back to the center. Let's try that again. So weight goes forward. Now in this position, I want you to pull in here on the tummy and bring yourself back. And then gently go back and bring yourself to the center. Good. From here, we're going to start with a few little movements of the arms. So we're going to start with the wrist today. We're going to do this with the wrist. So we're going to flex and down, up 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 and down. Two more. Good. Now bring your wrists up and now I want you to just rotate from the very top of your arms. You feel this work actually really in your upper body. Can you feel that? And bring them back. Rotating out. So try and make the movement come from here, not from your wrists. Okay, so think of the arm bone in the shoulder joint rotating and back. Two more, open and back, open and back. Now I want you to open and bring your arms by your side. Can you feel that difference in your posture? Holding that position, we're gonna do circles of the wrists. Okay, so circling out, and as you circle out, you're gonna to start to raise your arms. That's it, so gently coming up, just circling all the time, standing nice and tall, and then circling down. So down we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Now take your circle the other way. So reverse that circle and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and circle, lowering down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well done. Let's have the hands on the hips, standing tall. And then from here, I want you to think about just lifting your heel up. So you can feel your toes on the ground, but your heel lifting, and you're just going into the metatarsals of the feet, okay? And down, then the other side, lift and down, lift and down, lift and down, four, four, three, two, one. Very good. Now bring that right foot forward, draw your abdominals in, standing tall, 
hands on your hips. If you need a chair for balance, you can have a chair beside you here. We're going to lift that foot off the ground and do little circles going out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Change your legs going out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Switch back to the first leg. Let's reverse it. So we're going to go in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Change legs. Going in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Okay, I'm going to go sideways so you can see. We're going to do a little bit of mobilization now through the ankle joint. So you can take your right leg back, left leg forward. And I've done this in one of my foot, uh, knee and ankle stability videos. So we're going to give it another go. So your feet are parallel, they're straight, they're facing forward, they're not turned out. I want you to look down at your hips and try and level up your hips so we're not rotating. Our hips are like two car headlights going forward. Tummy muscles in, hands on the hips or you can have your hands here if you're feeling confident. Okay, if you're not sure, hands on the hips. And then from here, keeping the legs straight, you're going to push off the back foot. So pushing into those toes to lift the heel of the back foot, transferring the weight forward onto this leg. And then you're going to gently lower back. Now I want you to take your time lowering back. That's often where the balance happens or doesn't happen. Moving backwards. So we're going to push forward and come back. Push forward and back. So this is really good functional work of the foot muscles, the ankle muscles, the calf muscles. Okay, it's also working your glute on that back leg. Lift and back. Lift and back. Lift and back. Lift and back. Well done. Let's change legs. Same thing on the other side. So get your set up right, feet straight, hips straight, pelvis facing forward hands where you prefer them. If you're going to cross your arms, try crossing them the other way because that will also add another layer of challenge. And now we're going to lift the heel of the back foot going forward. Slowly does it as you go back. So you can feel how this is challenging to the balance. Lift and back. Lift and back. Lift and back for four, three, two, one. Well done. And then coming back, feet back to hip width apart. I'm going to stay sideways because I want you to see the setup of the spine. So we are going to work the back, but we're going to keep this osteo friendly, which means you're going to hinge from the hips, but you're not going to be bending your spine. OK, so the movement will be sticking the bottom out, essentially bending the knees like so. This is going to work all your back muscles as well. So very good. And your glutes. And then you're going to come up. OK, so we're going to bring the arms forward and back, forward and back. And I want you to think as you take those arms back, it's like you're pushing back on a weight. You're pushing on some resistance there so you can feel the work in the upper back, the shoulders, the arms for four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Hold your arms down. Keep that sense of pressing back and just lift both heels off the floor. So this is where our balance work comes in, lifting up and lowering down. Now pull your tummy muscles in, tighten your bottom muscles and you'll find that becomes easier. Lift and lower. So you're really controlling here through that core, through the back, the tummy, the bottom muscles. Lift 
and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Four, four, three, two, one. Well done. Okay, so coming into a position here where you've got your feet wide. All right, now this all depends on flexibility with your knees, your hips, but we do want a bit of turnout now in the legs, but the turnout must come from your hips. We're going to be bending those knees and you go to whatever feels okay for you. All right, arms are going to go straight out and back. And as you take them back, I want you to bring them behind you. So you are opening up the front of the chest. Bend, hand up, bend, and up, then and up. Good. For four, three, two, one. And then from here, I want you to see if you can turn around and come back. So you're pivoting on this leg. This leg is internally rotating and then externally rotating. Internal rotation, external rotation. Again, you're having to use coordination, balance. Good. Three. You can add a little pulse if you want to. Two. One. Let's try the other side. All right, and you work as hard as feels appropriate for you. I'm not going to tell you how hard you have to work. It has to feel a challenge, but no pain, okay? Good. Four. Three. Two. One. Well done. And come up. Good. Bring those feet in. Back to hip width apart. All right, and we're going to take our arms out to the side and we are going to point our right foot forward. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of work through the hip flexor and the knee. Very easy. You're going to exhale and we're going to float that up and down. I say easy, but it's not, is it? Because as soon as you lift, you're having to balance on that standing leg. Knee comes no higher than your hip joint, but it can be lower. Lift and down, lift and down. So this really does work the feet as well as the knees and the hips. Three, two, one, come down, roll your shoulders back, take the other leg forward, arms back out. So let's set that posture, drawing in here, and then we're going to lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. That's it. Four, four, three, two, one. Well done. Bring the arms down, lift them up, roll their shoulders back, and we're going to go back to the first leg. This time we're going to lift using the hip flexor. We're going to keep the leg straight. So we're going to be utilizing all through here. So no bending of the knee. All right, arms back out to the side, palms up, pull your tummy muscles in and see if you can float that leg off the floor and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down, good, four, three, two, one, bring that leg down, arms down, roll your shoulders up, back and around, change legs. Who said senior workouts were easy, eh? They're not easy, <laughs> lift and down, it's all functional work, so trying to move your legs, your joints, 
in all the areas, all the ranges, the places they're supposed to move. Good. Four, three, two, one. Come down, arms down. Little release on those arms and shoulders. Well done, let's take the leg to the side. So we'll have the arms out, but this time we'll have them lower. Okay, but again, standing nice and tall. Think about with this foot as if you are pushing the floor away. You'll feel that lift as you do that. And then we're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. That's it. So we're not looking for height. We're looking for control, for balance. Yes, good. Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. I think it's one more. Good, come down. Shoulder rolls, other side. Hands out, standing tall, pull the tummy in, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Three, two, one, come down. Arms, shoulders rolling around. We'll do the back. All right, so right foot to the back, a slight lean forward, but again, nice straight back. And let's take the arms forward just to give us a little bit of a counterbalance. All right, keep both legs straight. So you're lifting using your bottom muscles. Lift, good. And three, and four. Gonna do 10, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Bring the arms down, roll the shoulders back. Switch legs. So finding your balance first of all, little tip forward. Tum is in, arms forward, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the arms down, roll the shoulders up, back and around. Well done. Okay, so let's go on to something with the arms and we're gonna come back to the legs. So for the arms, one of my old favorite exercises, so good for your upper body. You're gonna bring your arms up into a V position. Now just getting here for some people is really hard because it's often like this. We want these shoulders down. We want a nice space between your ears and your shoulders. So you're gonna go into a, a, a V, you're then going to go into a W shape. So you bring your elbows down and as you draw them down, think of your shoulders moving back. All right. Then from there, keeping the shoulders back, straighten the arms into a T position and then bring your arms into the shape of two L's. When you're doing this, you want to feel your shoulder blades squeezing together behind you. Then we're going to reach up. Y, W, T, and L. Squeeze those shoulder blades. And Y, W, T, and L. Y, W, T, and L. All the time, the shoulder blades are staying nice and stable. This is a really good, uh, sorry, T. And L, posture exercise is what I was gonna say. Y, W, T, and L, and Y, W, T, 
and L. Now hold your L shape and let's do little squeezes. So we're going to do squeeze, squeeze. From the back it looks like this, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And four, three, two, one, and come down. I'm going to stay facing this way so you can see what we're going to do next. Shoulder mobility. All right, so we're going to lift the arm up and we're going to work on this shoulder. Okay, these muscles under here, you're going to try and draw your shoulder across to the center and then let it go. So let it drop down and go out. Can you see it's nice and relaxed now? So try again. We're going to engage the muscles, draw it in, let it go and reach it out. In, let it go and reach it out. In, let it go reach it out, one more, in, let it go, reach it out, take the arm down, other side, lift, okay, now any pain here, drop your arm a little bit lower, all right, so we're going to go in, let it go, and reach it out, in, let it go, reach it out, in, let it go, reach it out, in, let it go, reach it out, one more, in, let it go, reach it out, and come down, well done, shake those arms out, let's move on to our hips, okay, so, starting with this leg, all right, we're going to just draw a circle on the floor, in fact, we're going to draw a quarter of a circle, so the foot's going to go forward, you're then going to circle it to the side, keeping your pelvis still. So I want you to really have your hands on the hips for this one and bring it in. Okay, foot goes forward. You circle and really focus on keeping this still. Again, this is hip mobility. All right, so if you feel your pelvis going, you know your hips are quite stiff, but I'm keeping it really small today. So we should be able to do this one just going to the side and back, forward, side and back, forward, side and back, and forward, side and back. Let's go on to the other leg. So we're going to go forward, side and back. So imagine you are drawing a circle or a quarter of a circle with your toes, forward, side and back, pulling in on those tummy muscles, this is also core work, forward and back, good, forward, side and back, two more, that's it, forward, side and back. Okay, now we are going to try and draw the foot to the back. This becomes a little more challenging. So foot's going back. As you can see with my leg, I'm sure it's slightly out to the side, not directly behind me. Then you're going to circle to the side and bring it in. So you're going to go back, side, close. Back, side, close. Back, side, close close, back, side, close, we'll do one more, back, side, close, change legs, back, side and close, back, side and close, back, side and close, back, side and close, one more, back, side and and close. Well done. Just give your legs a little shake out. And then you're going to bring this leg forward with the knee bent. And we're going to work on some balance and coordination exercises now. So opposite arm is going to lift as you lift the leg. Then you're going to open them both out to the side. Bring them back and lower down. All right. So we're going to come here. We're going to lift and we're going to open whoop, back 
and down. Let's lift straight up. Lift, open, back and down. <laughs> lift, open, back and down. <laughs> lift, I'm laughing because I'm losing my balance. Open, back and down. One more. Lift, open, back and down. Let's try the other side. Lift, open, back and down. 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 Two more. Lift, open, back and down. And lift, open, back and down. Well, that was a challenge, wasn't it? Okay, a little bit of coordination now. So, and I'm gonna try and get my brain into gear because this one is really takes some concentrating. So, we're gonna be doing circles with the arms, okay? So this is your movement. So let's just warm up, just doing a few of these, coming back, that's it. Nice circles to one other side, nice circle. You can be freer in the spine with this. I don't mind if there's a little bit of movement, that's fine. Yes, three, two, one. Right, here is your challenge for the brain. You're gonna lift both arms up. We are gonna do circles with our arms. And one arm is gonna go forward, one arm is gonna go back. Okay, so try, you can follow me or do it in your own way. I'm really hoping I'm going to get this right. So we're circling this arm forward, this arm back, and they just keep moving in their own circle. So they are going in opposite directions. Yes. Very much a challenge. People think this is easy. You try it. It's so challenging to your brain. That's it. Keep going. Make sure they're going the opposite way to each other. <laughs> Two. A one. Come up. Now comes the challenge for me, for us all. We've got to do it the other way. All right. So the other arm goes forward, this one goes back. One arm forward, one arm back. One arm forward, one arm back. One arm forward, one arm back. Keep going. That's it. Let your spine move. Three. Two, one, and down. I just about made it. As soon as I thought of something else, I lost where I was. So that was all about stimulating the brain. Okay, so we are working your brain. Really, really important. All right, let's go. Uh, let me go sideways for you. We're almost done. Let's work on a little bit of extension. Okay, very important for us all. So what you're going to do is bring your hands in front of you in like a prayer position. So you're like this. All right, and again, I've done this in my spinal mobility videos. And then what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna lift the elbows up and bring them down. So just start with that movement, up and down. So just the arms moving, the elbows are lifting and lowering. Lifting and lowering. Lifting and lowering. One more. Good. Now I want you to lift up, but this time I want your eyes to be looking at your thumbs and I want you to follow your thumbs and allow your spine to go back. So it's not just your head going back, you want to feel that it's all the way through the spine 
and coming down. So it's a sense of that movement, not that, but a sense of going up and back, okay? So we're lifting up, following our thumbs. Think of lifting and going back. If you're doing it correctly, you'll feel a little stretch in the front of your tummy muscles. And come down, again, lift. and calm down following those thumbs with your eyes lift and calm down one more lift and calm down bring those arms down roll your shoulders out for four three two one and you're going to bring your arms up big breath Exhale, reaching out to the side. Again, inhale up. Exhale, reaching out to the side. Last one, up. Exhale, reaching out. And there you go. That is your 30 minutes of standing Pilates for balance, for strength, for coordination. I hope that gave you a little bit more confidence in your movement as well. We did a full body conditioning routine, so you can do this on its own, or you can use this as a precursor to any other type of exercise that you do. Maybe if you're just going for a long hike, you could do that as well. All right, so thank you very much for watching. Do press that like button. Please do subscribe and uh, leave a comment below. I'd love to know what you thought, what exercises you liked, what you found challenging. All your comments are always helpful. They guide me as to what you guys need. So remember that that interaction is really important for all of us so I can give you more of what's good for you. I'm teaching this live today. So if you are with me live, uh, I'm going to come onto the live chat now and answer any Pilates questions you have. And if you need to go, well, thank you for watching so much. Really appreciate it and have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Thank you, everyone. Excuse me, I've just got to quickly uh, wipe my nose because I've got a little bit of a cold. Okay. Uh, lovely to see you all. How did you find that? Was it okay? I hope so. Um, do let me know what you thought. Uh, I can see Carol has just donated. Uh, because she's come up in yellow with a lovely emoji. Thank you, Carol Watkins. Really appreciate that. That's really nice of you. Thank you very much indeed. I'm just going to try and um, focus my camera. So bear with me a little while I um, just have a look at what's going on there. I uh, just want to say thank you to everyone who joined me today. Uh, there was about 500 of us uh, on the chat, so that was really, really good. Um, I'm hoping you can see me. It's really difficult for me to see my focus there, but let's go with that. Hopefully that's all right. Uh, Rita Lafer, Rita, hello to you. I know you're doing the workout later, so I hope you enjoy it later. Hello to Cheryl from Virginia. Uh, lovely to have you, Cheryl, as always. Uh, Cheryl, you'll be pleased to know, I think it might have been you that requested a Christmas outing of our dog and my husband. Uh, they may be appearing uh, on a Christmas special here on the channel. I'll tell you more about that nearer the time, but they may be appearing close to Christmas. My plan is to do my last live um, this year will be on the 22nd of December. That's a Friday. Uh, that will be the last live and that's going to be a Christmas fun one. So you may see my husband and my little doggy on that one. Uh, just to let you know. Uh, going down the chat, good morning. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> good morning to Kim B. Hello, Kim. Lovely to have you here. Thanks very much for joining me today. Uh, hello to June Kowalziak over in Canada. Lovely to see you. Uh, you're just in from your chiropractic treatment, a bit sore, so you're going to do, my be do your best. Yes, do be careful, uh, June, because I know the chiropractic, chiropractic, 
chiropratic, that's the right way to say it, isn't it? Yeah, treatment can be quite intense sometimes. Um, so just hopefully today was fine because it was very gentle mobility and we weren't really doing any, we weren't, didn't do any rotating really. Um, so hopefully that was all good on your back. Hello to Sue to, Pin Hello to, Sue to Pinto. Can't get my words out today, I don't know why. <laughs> it must be the cold weather here. Uh, Sue says, love these classes, always helpful. Yes, Sue, I hope that helps you with your balance today. And the, uh, that, that coordination thing we were doing at the end with the arms moving in different uh, directions, really good for stimulating the brain. And there are lots and lots of studies that say that, you know, coordination is really, really important to keep going. It's something that we lose as we get older if we don't keep practicing it. It's very natural when you're young, uh, but when you're older, it's one of those things along with balance that can decline if you don't keep challenging yourself. So that's why I put little things like that in. Some people think, oh, why is she doing that? Is that even an exercise? Well, yes, number one, yes, it is. And number two, it's working your brain as well as your body. Uh, so a good one to work on for everyone. Uh, hello to Sangeeta. Hello, lovely to see you. Uh, hello everyone, uh, just completed the yoga stretch video. Oh, you like that one, good. And I enjoyed it and we'll do uh, this one later. Love the stretching, enjoy the day. You and your family are truly a blessing to us all. Oh, thank you Sangeeta, that's lovely. I'm really glad you enjoyed my yoga stretch video. Um, yes, keep doing it. If you find one that really you really enjoy, that's basically your body saying, this one's good for me, so keep at it. And that's, I say it to everyone, if there's one particular video that you do and it's just something that you really, really love, then there's something in it that your body needs. Uh, I mean, our bodies need all sorts of things, but often that's your body, it's a sign that your body's going, ah, oh, that one really helped. It may be, for example, like Sangeeta, she really liked the yoga one. It may be because stretching is what your body needs right now. So do try and take time to really listen to your body and, and, and know and, and kind of acknowledge how you feel after certain workouts, because that's a really good guide. There's no better guide than you to how you feel. So if you think about that when you do your workouts, that will really help you, I hope. Um, hello to Arelis Munoz. Have I said that right, Munoz? That sounds Spanish, maybe. Uh, Arelis says, I love Pilates. I'm 67 and I'm ready to begin. Thank you. You are fantastic. Oh, bless you. Thank you too. Arelis, I hope you enjoyed our session today. Really good posture work we did today, everyone. Just so you know, it was osteoporosis friendly. And that means it's safe if you've got osteoporosis, but it also means regardless of, of, of your situation, you don't have to have osteoporosis. It's really, really good for strengthening your postural muscles. And your postural muscles, they are attached to your spine from your tailbone all the way up to the back of your skull. So really important to work them and just standing tall, standing straight with good posture, with the shoulders back, uh, will really work those muscles. So I really wanna encourage you to work on your posture, everyone. Uh, thank you, Aurelis, it's lovely to uh, see you today. Hello to Nancy Pellini, hello, Nancy. Uh, Nancy says, you are truly an inspiration. Thank you for your wonderful exercise videos. Well, thank you. Nancy for that. That's a lovely thing to say and I feel very honoured uh, to have that message sent to me. Thank you very much because really that's all I want to do is help everyone feel better. So thank you very much Nancy and it's so nice to see you. Thank you for taking the time to send me a message today. Uh, Shizemna, is that the correct pronunciation? I'm not sure. Mendez uh, says you have blessed me so much. I've been exercising with you for a couple of years, but today I got you live for the first time. Yay! Uh, 
Are you liked, are you like being reminded to pull your tummy muscles in? Yes. Uh, and how to breathe. God bless you. Oh, thank you so much. Is that an uh, examiner? Jimena? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Do let me know. Uh, but that's lovely to hear from you. And how nice you were able to join me live today. So yeah, this is my new live time. I'm always going to be at 4 p.m. UK time. That's this time here. Obviously, it changes when we get to springtime because the clocks go forward in the spring. But that's the time I'm going to be live every week uh, up until the springtime. So come and see me again soon. Uh, Maria uh, Sajti says, thanks a lot. Cheers, Maria from Hungary. Hello, Maria in Hungary. How lovely to have you here today. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, then we have the lovely Carol Watkins who has donated. Thank you very much, Carol, for your generous donation today. That really helped. Suda Pinto says, "Thank that was perfect. So helpful for my balance, my ataxia def uh, deficits, and challenging for my brain. I did well with my windmill arms. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Sue. Really glad to hear that. That's a good name for them, windmill arms indeed. Uh, my mother says, hi, Rachel, I'm looking for the September playlist, but don't see it on your channel or your website. OK, the September playlist, uh, it may be, uh, I don't know if Kerwin will be able to find that for you while we're on the live. Um, but if not, I will make it live for you after this uh, class. Let me just make a note. What I tend to do is... Um, put the, take them off, um, sorry, what am I trying to say? The playlist, I leave them public for a month, then I take them down. So the playlist is still there if you've got the link to it, but if you haven't got the, uh, the original link, it won't come up, because what I do is I make them unlisted, because otherwise there'd be like thousands of playlists, because I've done so many now over the last uh, couple of years, three years since I've been uh, teaching on here. But I'll, uh, I'll have a look for you and get the uh, September playlist uh, public. So it should be here about an hour after I finish the session. It should be there for you. Um, Cheryl from Virginia says, that felt so great, especially on my, jo my joints, which are getting a bit achy this winter. I'm really glad to hear that, Cheryl. Yeah, it can be kind of the cold weather makes us all a little bit achy. Uh, Mary Margaret Seagraves, hello to you, Mary. Thank you very much for your donation. Uh, Charby, hello to you. Says, thanks, Rachel. That was an awesome way to start the week. Going to be sending you a coffee here. Oh, thank you for the coffee. Much appreciated. Uh, Suda Pinto says, seeing you struggle a bit with it was so comforting. You're so graceful and coordinated. I don't feel so bad. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is, Sue? It is a struggle for me because my um, right foot, which when you're looking at the screen is actually, you see it as my left. Um, I had quite a big problem on that foot, which as, as some of you know, have been following me for a couple of years, is I had to have quite extreme uh, foot operations uh, double foot operation two, uh, was it two years ago now, I think. Yeah, two years ago. And uh, the right foot's always been a problem with balance before the operation and after. So it's always a challenge for me. So yes, there's always a little bit of a wobble there. But that's good, like you say. It makes you realise we all have our challenges, me included. So thank you, Sue. I'm glad that made you feel better. Uh, Carol Watkins says, that was, wow, that was perfect. I hurt my neck a couple of days ago. I have cervical degeneration and this was perfect. My neck feels better already. Thank you, Rachel. I'm really glad to hear that, Carol. So, Carol, maybe this is one for you to bookmark as a favourite or add to your own list, knowing that when your neck is bad, it's a really good one to do because we didn't do any neck mobilisation. All we did today was extension and uh, elongation of the spine uh, and gentle mobilisation through the hips because uh, uh, remember we were doing that little turning exercise, which is very gentle rotation through the pelvis. And again, it's amazing, like things like this, you think, well, how can working my hips make my neck feel better? But of course, everything is connected by tissue, by muscle, by ligaments, 
everything's connected. Like, you know, our legs aren't just connected to our hips. Our leg muscles, some of our leg muscles go through the hip, through the body and attach to your spine. So if your spine in that area is really stiff, that's going to affect how your legs feel, for example, which is why I really like uh, the conditioning work that we do in Pilates, because often it can be something in your foot makes your head feel better or your shoulder feel better. Everything is connected. So that's why I always want you to think that whatever I say a workout is, it is always full body conditioning. I just like to give you different words to kind of emphasize a certain type of movement that we're aiming for or a certain type of movement that might be beneficial to certain populations, whether that's people over 60, people with osteoporosis, anyone who's got a bad neck could have done today's, uh, like Carol. So there you go. Thank you for that, Carol. Uh, June says, that was great, Rachel. Love the balance. Moving the arms in opposite directions. That was a brain teaser. I couldn't keep my elbows glued together, lifting up and looking up feeling nice and loose. Yes, that one with the elbows uh, coming up like this, it actually works your thoracic spine. So it's working the air of the spine below the neck and above um, the uh, waistline. Uh, really, really good in extension. And again, very important for everyone who's getting older or is over technology, whose body is going in this direction and also very good for anyone with osteoporosis because it's strengthening the muscles uh, in extension, which is important for you. Uh, so great to hear, thank you, June. Glad you're feeling nice and loose, ready for your day. Martin de Kerpel says, yes, the arms work now in the different ways with my eyes closed. Thank you, I loved it and liked it. Oh, bless you, thank you, Martin. Uh, Mom Arbor's set, uh, sent a donation through. Thank you very much indeed. Most kind of you. Kim B says, great full body warm up and flexibility session. Thank you. Uh, it's time to rise, says, I feel great. Thanks, Rachel. I really needed that balance work. Uh, AF says, fabulous. Thank you. Loving your ballet inspired workouts. Source one late recently and recognize the movement. Ah, how amazing. You see that ballet, it's once you do it, you recognize it wherever you go. So how lovely. I really hope you enjoyed um, seeing Swan Lake. It's a beautiful, beautiful ballet, isn't it? When they all come out together, all those swans, um, it's just beautiful. I had a friend who was in uh, Swan Lake in London at the Royal Albert Hall and they had 60 swans. So 60 women uh, all dancing together on point in their beautiful swan costume. It's just amazing. So, oh, that, that's lovely to hear. Thank you for that. Sarah Runnicle says, thank you from a freezing North Yorkshire. Have had a busy weekend. Uh, traveling so lovely to work out the kinks Kofi on the way thank you Sarah so glad that you've been able to make this slightly earlier time because I know it was a bit of a rush for you so thanks so much for joining me Sue Wood hello Sue Sue says a few wobbles but enjoyed that thank you I ordered your book today so really looking forward to receiving it yay so glad to hear that thank you Sue Cheryl from Virginia says yippee Christmas elf and Christmas rain dog, something to look forward to. It might be a rain dog, it might be something else though. Uh, but yes, there may be costumes involved, uh, Cheryl, so we shall see. Um, Charby says, uh, thank you to Kerwin. Uh, Marilyn uh, from Canada. Hello, Marilyn. Marilyn says, I love your standing Pilates to seniors. It is so helpful. Oh, thank you, uh, Kerwin, my lovely husband there. He's put the September playlist there online. So there you go. If you were looking for that playlist, there are the September playlist. We've got weeks one, two and three and four there, all there. So well done, everyone. Uh, Charby says, um, one last question, besides this video, do you have other videos regarding neck lengthening? Even though I know it's genetic, is there a way of lengthening? So this is a great question, thank you. I would say, uh, Char, 
the best videos for kind of neck release because you need two things. You need to release tension in the neck if you have tension in the neck and then you need to reset your neck into a, uh, uh, a optimal posture. So the best way to do that, all of my senior Pilates videos contain that because that is a fundamental uh, change that we see in our bodies as we get older, particularly for women. Sometimes it comes earlier for women um, because of the menopause can have an effect on your posture uh, and it can happen very suddenly, sort of a postural change with that kind of head going forward. So. If I go sideways, Char, what often happens, and this comes with age but also technology, is that the head can start to pull forward. That will strain your neck muscles here and it will weaken them. And it will also pull your shoulders forward and everything will start moving in this direction. So it's really important to do the standing work, Char. I would say all the standing Pilates for seniors contains work that will work on that kind of lengthening. In terms of actual length of the neck, we can't physically make our neck longer, but we can give the, we can look like we are if we reset our posture. All right, let me show you what I mean. So if I go standing up, I'm gonna stand against the white wall because it's probably the easiest way to show you. So if I do bad posture, head forward, rounded here, can you see where my height is, right? Now, if I bring my chest up, if I draw my shoulders back, if I pull my chin in, I'm lengthening my neck. Can you see the difference in how the neck looks? Yes, you get that lovely length because your posture is good. So I would say a really good one for you, Char, is my standing Pilates for forward head posture. It's brilliant, honestly, it's so good for your posture because we, I use a wall and it helps you understand where your head needs to sit in space. So I would really recommend you look at that one. So that's standing Pilates with a wall for forward head posture. The picture is me like this against a wall with my arms like this. I'm wearing the same tops, so it's quite easy to find. All right, uh, and then all of my standing Pilates videos, whether they're for seniors uh, or they're just in the regular standing workouts, they are all postural based. They will all help with the neck, okay? So do go and check all of those out. Um, okay, so uh, Mama Bird says, I'll look for the playlist, thank you. Oh, there you go, you've got your playlist. Um, and uh, Mama Bird says, in all the years that I've worked out, whether with a video or a live class, I don't think I've ever met an instructor who is as thorough as you. Oh, thank you so much. That is really lovely to hear. The effort you go to in answering everyone's questions is very impressive and much appreciated. Thank you very much indeed. That is really kind of you. And yes, that's what I feel I'm here to do. That's my purpose in life, uh, is that I really want to help people. So thank you very much for that. And, uh, and we've got a thank you to Kerwin, my wonderful husband, for finding that playlist for you. So a quick announcement, everyone, because I'm just going to pop off shortly. I will not be appearing live for two weeks, the next two Mondays. Um, but I will have, I'll, I'll tell you more about why later, but I will uh, have a video out at this time next week. So this time next week, there will be a video that will go out that will premiere at four o'clock. So it will be like being live. It's just that there won't be a live chat for the next two weeks. Um, uh, I will be here this Friday. So I'll be here Friday live. Uh, for another workout and this Friday we're doing Pilates to ease your back and strengthen your core. So that's going to be a mixture of core work. So that's front, side, back of the body. All right, lots of core work, but also uh, particular stretches which really will release tension in your back as well. Okay, so do join me for that if you can. Um, and I have a playlist out now. So we've got December playlists are running, I believe it's December week one, 
X December week one uh, is out right now. And I do put a fresh playlist out every Sunday on YouTube. So there will be another playlist out this coming Sunday. All right, so I won't see you live for the next two Mondays, um, but I will see you after that. And um, yes, I think when I'll be back, I'll put it in a community post. So one thing I did want to say before I go is sometimes I get quite a lot of questions about things that have changed or uh, times that have changed and people aren't aware. So I want to encourage you all, please do read my community post. If you're a subscriber, you should get one automatically. But every now and then, why not check on the community page of my channel? So you go into my channel and go along. It says home videos, playlist, community. That's where I announce if there's a new video coming out, if there's a new playlist coming out, or if for some reason I'm changing the schedule for a week because I have a commitment elsewhere. For example, last Friday I had to go to a massive meeting, so I had to move everything an hour earlier just so that I could give you your Pilates, but also get to my other commitments. So where I can be live, I am live. Where I'm not, I'll put a video. All right, so you will have a workout next week. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. It'll be uh, Christmas time, I believe, by then. So remember, December 22nd, I will be doing a special for Christmas. It'll be my last broadcast before Christmas. So do try and join me then, where we're gonna have a little bit of Christmas fun. All right, so take care, look after yourselves, and have a wonderful week. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Take care, bye for now.